show you how to edit an image in Adobe Fireworks CS3. Uh, I've got the program open, let's go to file. I've had a lot of, a lot of clients asking me how to edit images and understand what um, image editing is for their website. So go to file, open, find your image. Uh, I've got a, some images sitting on a disk from a photographer from a website I just completed, but if you can't find your images, go up into your my computer and you can have a look in your file structure uh, there if you can't find your image if you don't understand the file names get us go to thumbnail view in that little drop down box and you can find your images way uh, we'll just select one of those and open this image is opened up and it's at the magnification of 8% uh, we want to take this to 100% for this tutorial you'll see that the image is very very large for the internet it's way too big for a website so we're going to go to modify canvas image size constraint proportion is ticked we want our width and length to stay into scale and we're going to change the width to 280 if this was a landscape image going the other way I would make the width 480 and that is automatically changed the size of the image at 100% magnification. This is perfect size for our website. We can always crop this if we wanted to by using the crop tool here, uh, which is the same as in Photoshop. The GIMP and Paint are always the same one, and you could crop your image if you wanted to. Uh, but for this tutorial, we're just going to file save, or file image preview, and we're going to um, reduce the file size for our website so our photo loads faster. You'll see here the size is 72k, still too big for the web. The fastest way to do this is to go drop down box JPEG smaller file, which automatically brings our file size down, which is a good size. If you find the image is a little bit too blurry and you're not happy with that, you can adjust the quality here with this box and you can take it back up to say 70%. Try that. The file size automatically comes up with that. If you're happy with that, what you need to do is export it out and we'll give that a descriptive file name uh, for our website. You don't want to be using file names which are camera generated. They won't help with any search engine optimization at all. So you go export. Uh, we'll save that maybe to the desktop. Uh, and we'll just give that a descriptive file name. A dips letter. Or it's for a catering company, so we'll say catering. Get that word catering in there and save. Uh, for this tutorial that's all we need to do so the key steps were change your dimensions under modify image size and change the file size under file image preview and change the quality and that's all we needed to do. That concludes this tutorial. Thank you.